I had reviewed Freddy and Golden Freddy, the Funko plushes from Series 1, Why I was waiting on my mask from CS5 to come in. My mask came in, I reviewed it. it it's, it's a pretty good review, I think, if you guys haven't seen it yet, at least by my standards. It's better than some of the other reviews I've done. Uh, and CS5 even saw it and commented on the video, so... Go watch that. Read the comment section. It's pretty good. Anyways. So, I, I reviewed those as filler videos until... Or, I reviewed those two products as a filler videos until the mask came in. But now that I've reviewed the mask, I figured I might as well finish what I have of that wave. And the only other plush I have is Foxy here. They also made uh, Chica and Bonnie. And then they made two exclusives, which are extremely rare now. They made Shadow Freddy, which is probably the rarest. The, the exclusive I have, the Golden Freddy, is probably the second rarest. But then they made the Toy Freddy, which is also extremely rare. But yeah, another cool thing is after reviewing those, I started looking around at other reviews and channels dedicated to covering FNAF news. And apparently, I didn't even know this when I did the review, but they might be bringing back all of Series 1 back because if that's true, then it means for a good price, you know, retail price, I will be able to pick up Chica and Bonnie when they come out. I think it's just a rumor at this point, but I'll be able to pick those up and finish reviewing Series 1 besides the two exclusives that I don't have. So that will be super cool if it's not just a rumor. I didn't even know that when I started these reviews. I just now got back looking at FNAF news and stuff online and news about Funko FNAF merchandise. And that was announced a couple of days after I think I did my first review. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So maybe I will get those and review them. Because they're apparently supposed to be the same plushes as Series 1, just reissues. Uh, I know I've got a little off topic so far, so let me get into this. So you're probably wondering why I have Chica. I mean, not Chica. I was just talking about Chica and Bonnie. So now I, you know... I don't script reviews, so, so anything goes, but I have it saying on a DVD, and that's for one reason, because Foxy cannot sit when he's on a hard surface. I don't know if this is just my Foxy, or if all the Foxies were built like this, but as you can see, my Golden Frey, he sits up pretty nice, because his bottom and his legs are pretty much straight. He sits completely flat. But Foxy, on the other hand, is sort of at an angle, so he will not sit by himself. So I have to put him like this. Luckily for me, whenever I display Foxy, I have him either on my bed, where you know there's blankets and stuff, so he can actually sit up, you know? Or I have them on top of my TV with my other two FNAF plushes. And because of that, they set up because it's a flat screen TV and there's a wall right behind it. So his legs sit on it and his back rests against the wall and it works. It works, you know. He sits up there, no problems. But if you're looking for one, just keep that in mind. Yours might not sit. Now, out of the three I have, this is probably the one that aged the worst, because I don't know if you can tell, but right here he's got a little string hanging, and on his muzzle one of his dimples is all, has a little bit of string loose. And maybe that's because it's been in storage, but maybe it's because I wasn't as nice at, to this plush. Because Foxy, even though I think he's really cool as a character, he was the animatronic that Mm, got on my nerves the most. Because I don't know if you've ever played the first Five Nights at Freddy's. But the other animatronics 
You can look at the cameras and kind of track as they come up. Uh, you know? So it's mainly just conserving power and keeping an eye on them and keeping track of them mentally. But Foxy, he will pop up and run. Like, he will literally book it. And he'll jump scare you. I, I remember, he was actually the first one to jump scare me. Because I made it through the first night, no problems. Because my friend had explained the game to me. And I had sort of got it, right? And I, I, you know, phone guy was on there during the second night. I was so concentrated. I'm like, I'm not going to get jump scared for at least the first two nights. I made it through the first night. Going to do this at least the first two nights, right? And I was so concentrated on all the animatronics and flipping back between the cameras that I did not hear the phone guy say, because I was so concentrated on the gameplay and not what the phone guy was saying, I didn't hear him say, oh yeah, you might want to keep an eye on Pirate's Cove. So I wasn't keeping an eye on Pirate's Cove, and Foxy ran out and got me. Uh, it wasn't that time, but as I was saying, I may not have been as nice to this plush as the other ones. I can remember at least one very distinct time in my mind where I had the plushes on my computer. Well, not my computer, but the desktop that my computer was on. And Foxy got me, and I turned and I backhanded the plush off onto the floor. So that's at least one instance I can remember. I don't remember any other times. More than likely, this wear is just from time and being in storage. But, yeah. So I will give you a 360 of them. I think in canon, they made it where eventually, because I told you these were all in my, one of my reviews, I can't remember if it was the first or second one, but they're all based off the plushes in universe. I can't remember which one of the later games it was, but they actually retconned them where he had a hook on the hand of the plush, just like the actual animatronic has a hook. But in the first game, it wasn't like this. So depending on which game you're looking at, this can be accurate or it won't be. Another cool thing is he's got his little thingy sticking out. He's got one tooth and he's got a thingy. Something weird is this plush does not have an eye under his eye patch. He's got the one eye and then the eye patch. So I imagine that there's at least a couple of these plushes out there in the wild that probably lost their eye patch and just looks super weird right now. It's it's gotta have happened. It's probably happened. So keep that in mind that if you're looking for them on eBay or something to check the listing to make sure the eye patch hasn't came off. I think I still like Freddy and Golden Frey better. Golden Frey the most. But I really love this design. This is a great looking plush. It's it's so cool. He's so cool. The character himself, probably not as cool because he's kind of a jerk. But the in-game character anyways. But, you know, another thing to keep out is his ears. I was looking around and I think I've seen copies of these where his ears sometimes go flat. So keep an eye out on that. I've never had a problem of mine. In fact, I even sometimes make him run and his ears flop around. So, yeah, uh, maybe it's not that big a deal. Maybe if you just treat him right, his e he'll age better and his ears won't flop down. Mine don't flop down. Another thing to point out is he's a very soft plush. And just like all of these, these are all soft. And he's got a nice little tuft of hair right here. He's very cool. If you can pick him up for a good price, I recommend getting him. Especially if they re-release him and you can pick him up for $10, I 100% recommend him. Uh, just keep in mind the pros and the cons I've said. And I think the good really outweighs the bad because... 
everything I've mentioned is that's the problem with this is a probably a problem to this specific copy. Him not being able to sit for sure, but like I said, that might also be a problem in this specific copy. But would he be the first one you'd pick up? Even Golden Freddy, Toy Freddy, and Shadow Freddy, which are the exclusives aside. Just out of the core, was it four? Let's see, Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy. Yeah, the core four. He might actually be the second one you should pick up. Probably, yeah. He's probably second best, not counting the exclusives. So I would recommend getting Freddy first, and then this guy. So, yeah. He's really good. He's pretty cool. And another thing I should mention is I actually like how his eyes are designed. Earlier when I, I just, that's something you should keep in mind, that he only has one eye if that kind of thing bothers you. But I think the design works extremely well, and I actually really like how that looks. So I wanted to make clear that that's not a con to this guy. That That's definitely a pro for me, but you might feel otherwise if you're thinking about picking this plush up. I'll see you guys later, and stay cool.